Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial in our mini series on building websites with Blogout. Today we're going to show you how to set up Google Analytics. Google Analytics will track data from your website so you can get insights about things like how many people are visiting your site, what countries are they coming from, what specific pages are they looking at, and so much more. So to get started, we're going to open up our params file. And if you remember, that is in our config folder. Okay, so if we scroll all the way down here on line 122, we can see there's Google Analytics. And we'll just have to enter a piece of information in here, but I just wanted to show you where this is located first. Okay, so now I'm going to open up the Bookdown website. And this is pretty much an online book for creating websites with our markdown. And I'm in section 2.4, but if we scroll down a bit here, here we can see there, here's the Google Analytics. And it tells us the information we need to enter here is the Google Analytics tracking ID. Now, in order to do this, you have to have a Google account. Don't worry if you don't, you can sign up here just by clicking the link here. And if you're like me and you already have a Google account, or if you use Gmail, you'll automatically have a Google account. You can just click this link and it will automatically sign you in. And I will post this link um, within the YouTube tutorial in the description so you can look for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and log in here. So you can see it's taken us to the Google Analytics website. And it's automatically assigned me in. So this is my personal email, which is linked to my personal website. And you can see I actually already have Google Analytics set up. So here, this is the homepage. So we can see a little bit of the dashboard. We can get a sense of sessions by country, where people are viewing my website from, users by time of day. And there's really so much information that you can get here and all of the insights. Now, I'm actually not um, an expert on all of this, so I'm sure there's so many cool things that you can do. But for right now, I just want to show you what that looks like. And I'm actually going to log into a, my secondary account because I don't really use this one, but it's perfect for this tutorial. OK, so I haven't set up any sort of data streams yet, so I haven't connected any websites. So that's why there's no information on our dashboard yet. Now at the top, there's actually a warning that says can't find any data streams. And we're even prompted to go to set up a stream here. But just in case people don't have this at the top, another way you can do this is go to the admin button. And here you will first, if you haven't, if you don't already have an account, you'll have to create an account um, or you can if you have the option, you can create a property. But let's do this first. Okay, let's, so you just have to fill out a little bit of information. And I'll set it to Australia. And just answer a couple of questions here and create. Okay, service agreement, that's all right. That's, it looks like it's still loading. Okay, cool. So now the next step is to set up a data stream to start collecting data. So this is exactly what we want to do. And of course, we're going to select the web platform because we're going to be using our website. So let's quickly navigate to our website. Here it is and copy the URL just so we can paste it in right here. Now we want to delete it because we don't want it twice. And academic website, once again, for our streaming. And now we all we have to do is create the stream. Awesome. So here we can see our stream URL is connected to our website. We have our stream name and importantly, our measurement ID or our tracking ID. So this is the piece of information that we need 
right now. So we're going to copy it and back in our studio, we will just paste it into our Google Analytics information here. Okay, awesome. So that's pretty much all that we need to do to get our Google Analytics set up with our website. But of course we have to push all of our changes to GitHub. And in order to do that, we have to use our access token. So I'm going to load in the Git creds library. And if you've never done this before, I encourage you to watch the previous tutorial where we go through setting up access tokens with GitHub. Okay, now there's the argument for creds set. All right, so now we have to, so I've done this before, but I needed to create a new access token. So I have that here. So I'm going to copy it and my old one has been has expired or I actually deleted it. So I'm going to replace it. And I'll try that again. Okay, now we want to enter our token. So I've just pasted, pasted it in and that looks good. Okay, so now we just, our normal way we can go and stage commit. Commit, okay, and finally push. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wait a few minutes here and let everything update on GitHub and Netlify. And then I'm going to open up the website with on my phone to see, to make sure that we're tracking data. Okay, so I've just waited a couple of minutes, but now let's check out our Google Analytics. So we're going to close out here and here we can go to the analytics button just to take us to our home page, the dashboard. All right, hopefully this has worked. Okay, amazing. So here we see in the last 30 minutes, there's been one user, which of course that's me. And that's all we really need to know in order to confirm that our Google Analytics is set up and working properly. So now your data will begin to be, to be tracked and you can check in on it as you please. Awesome. So that's everything for today. Congratulations if you made it that far and you've got your Google Analytics set up and enjoy looking at your data. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.